Greetings, Keishlings. Keish Prime here with my live reaction of Four Nights of the Apocalypse, Chapter 155. Alright, so we've got Red and Black Knights, possessed by Arthur's chaotic evil. Apparently, you're loaf, or you're, you're loaf. Yes, you're a loaf of bread. Here you go. Um, your oath of loyalty, and by threatening your very families, get you demonic possession fucking horrible piece of shit he is um <clears throat> you know he was a cool guy you know for a side character back in the day irredeemable <laughs> now but anyway let's see here okay so we've got we are back in is this leonis let's see here well 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 I called you over. I'm going to zoom out slightly. There we go. That cleared up the image quite a bit. Uh, I called you over here for just one reason. Okay, so we have the uh, at least two members of, you know, well, the remaining bit, I guess, of the uh, Percival Platoon here in Leonis. Uh, I got uh, someone who wants to meet you. Uh, they want to meet us. Who could it be? And so you made it. Nassians, is that you? I'm glad you're both doing well. Dang, it's been ages. Finally back from the fairy realm. Did you come to visit us? Yes, it's not only me exactly. Oh. oh itchy nose. <clears throat> no way. So he flew up and it's like. <laughs> and Donnie, I I'm back. And they're like, what? And they stare at each other, what? <laughs> Breaking down crying. Aw, oh, man, you total bastard. You made me worried so damn much. <laughs> Since when did uh, you wake up, huh? You just a little while, uh, just a little while ago. I mean, it's been, what, a day or two? <clears throat> but hey, did you shrink, Donnie? Oh, my God. No, man, you got way too big. Oh. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, I missed a, a bubble. Like, I grew a bit more the past few years, but... Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, huh? Can you tell? Oh, Lord. That shaved off bit is gone. <laughs> that was your damn fault, dude. Oh. What's Anne's reaction now? Uh, oh god, trying to pronounce Anne's real name. And how lad, uh, haven't you, uh, aren't you going to see him? You left us so casually, and now you say, hi, I'm back. I demand an apology. Do you have any idea how it felt for us carrying you back two years ago? Hey, hey Anne, chill out. He, no, he will do it. All right, Anne. He embraces her. I'm sorry. Oh. He's so much taller than her now. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Elizabeth and Meliodas in the background. <laughs> Be like, aw. Uh, sorry to you too, Donnie. Forget about it. I ain't mad anyway. Uh, can you forgive me too, Anne? Sniff. No. All right. Uh, it's not going to be that easy with me. <laughs> Wow, you're such a pain. Don't say that out loud, please. Uh, but hey, move on. There's this thing I want to show you two. But we're, we're, we're... Whoa, we're moving on now? Okay. Sorry for background noise. Are you really sorry at all? <laughs> Wait, what does he want to show them? Come on, I gotta show them. Huh? Okay. What are we gonna show us, huh? Uh, see, uh, be a little more sorry. What? Oh, oh! Showing that you can just make people. Oh wait, it's uh, Nisians can fly on his own now. Nisians can fly. Yes, somehow. <laughs> uh, goodness, my my my! <laughs> well, they're like really not surprised at all. Um, how did you do that? <laughs> Guess what? It turns out Nisians is the fairy king, or has a fairy king for a dad and the queen of the giant clan for a mom. Ah! <laughs> wait. So, you were swapped out for the Changeling 18 years ago? That was such a huge uh, fervor. Diane was beside herself with grief. 
Hmm. Wait. Oh my god. I'm just now realizing that King and Diane were the ones to have children first. Or probably the earliest? Uh. Let's see. Mom was. I don't. I didn't know that. Our mother was. Uh. That's great. I'm sure they were b both so happy. Thank you very much. Oh. And she would understand as a mother herself. Uh. But. How are King and Diane doing? Well, I hope. <laughs> Actually, we had some big trouble. Uh. Warildane, part of Arthur's Four Evils, tried to steal their drug of yore. Uh, we teamed up with the Fairy King to beat her, but she made off with it in the end. Oh? <laughs> Do they have a clue what that is? The Four Evils is that, uh, Beltrap's, uh, group. I'm gonna call him Beltrap. I don't really know. <laughs> uh, guy we fought back to. You mean that menace who, uh, hurt Galther real bad? Huh? Why'd you know about that? Warroldane, uh, I've heard that name somewhere. All oh, right, Merlin mentioned her long ago. Uh oh, <laughs> direct connection to Merlin is never a good thing. Wait, is it just cutting off on this page? But never mind that. We'll talk more tomorrow. All right. Well, I'm going to see if I can. Wait, it was only thirteen pages. <coughs> So yeah, apparently that's just it. Okay. Um, so that's the end of the chapter. So Elizabeth knows about Warldane. That's interesting. Um, so I'm assuming the whole like white witch thing is because she trained under the ultimate sorceress. <laughs> so makes sense, I guess. But still. Also makes me wonder how old she is because like the way that it seems like that stripped away her humanity and everything, but also there was a hint that she was supposed to be way older than she appears. So very much like Merlin herself, which makes me wonder if there's like a weird connection to her homeland, but I doubt it. It's probably not that cut and dry. There's probably just like, oh, you were a young sorceress that I decided to raise and make stronger. Um, <clears throat> in the name of Arthur, <clears throat> all for Camelot. It's like, uh, what? <laughs> you know, kind of deal. So like, I could see something like that, but, hmm. But yeah. So they know about her, which then makes me wonder if maybe uh, she was being trained under Merlin, you know, before the whole, like, just kind of backstabbing all of her friends and going to Camelot. <clears throat> Or maybe that was early on, before the full betrayal, but she was spending time in Camelot. That would make sense. Also, my nose. Good lord. Um, but yes. Uh, so, everyone's reunited. Great. Actually, they're not all fully reunited. We haven't really gotten to see anything uh, from the, uh, the uh, Tristan group yet. So I'm kind of wondering, are they in Leonis now? Or are they still trying to do something to save their beloved captain? Um, I could really see either way, but they're probably in Leonis training, I would imagine, for the eventual like rejoining of the whole group and then just storming the castle, so to speak. So, hmm. I mean, I guess he is in a castle. So it's not really... I, I'm i just stupid. Anyway, uh, but yes. <clears throat> so yeah. Um, hmm. Don't really... Ha it, was, it was a nice little emotional chapter, but I, other than that like little tidbit there at the end, and also the... what happened, you know, with the Changeling incident 18 years ago, those were nice, but... It's that bit at the end that is like the real meat and potatoes of this chapter, like that's going to lead us into the next one. So we'll have to see. But, um, yeah, 
Uh, that's all I have to say. Let me know your own thoughts and opinions. Anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Links down below for all my socials. Um, part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. Uh, and as always, later days. And until next time, Keeshlings, happy 4th of July, because I almost freaking forgot. Bye.